Let's take a closer look at the project view. The project view shows you your assets and these are all the files that are connected to your project. We're going to add a few assets now and we'll start by adding a 3D model. Unity natively imports 3D models from Maya, Cinema 4D, Cheetah 3D and Blender but you can also import from any other major 3D package through one of the many supported formats. In Maya we can create our 3D models. I'm going to make a 3D terrain and I'll start by adding a simple plane. Next I'm going to scale this plane up a bit and then I'm uh, going to add some detail to it by moving some of the vertices up and down here. So we can create a simple terrain here. Okay. Now once I'm done with this I'm going to save it. So I'll go to File, Save Scene As and then I'll find the uh, Assets folder for this project. In my case it's on the desktop, in Tutorial and then in Assets and then I'll just gonna I'm just going to save the model in here. Terrain. We click Save. Now once we switch back to Unity, Unity is going to automatically update with this new asset. To add the terrain to the current scene in Unity, we simply grab it from the project view and drag it into the scene view. So now we have the Maya file in here and uh, if we need to change this now, we can simply double click the terrain asset in our project view and Maya opens it for us. We can now start editing this scene. We can do that by creating completely new objects and we can also modify existing objects. Once we're done with the editing, we simply save the scene and switch back to Unity. And the asset is then automatically updated. In this example we'll work with the texture asset. Uh, first we need to add the texture to the assets folder and I can easily find the assets folder by clicking reveal in finder in the context menu of the project view. If I now hide Unity you can see that uh, I have a Photoshop file on my desktop and I'll just move that into the assets folder and then switch back to Unity and Unity automatically updates. To use this texture I'll start by creating a cube and then I'll drag the texture onto that cube. If I need to change this texture now I can double click it in the project view and it opens up in Photoshop. Now we can do the changes we want. I'm gonna start by adding a layer. Then we can save our image and switch back to Unity. The texture updates and if I'm not happy with the, the changes I've made, I can always go back. And since I painted in a new layer here, I can easily hide that, save the image again and go back to Unity. And we're back to where we started. When adding assets to your project, you can also change some of the import settings for those assets. I'll create a small scene here to show you an example. I'll add my terrain and I'll also add a rigid body component to the box. Now if I hit play here, we can see that the box falls through the terrain. We can easily fix this with the import settings. If I right click my terrain asset here and select import settings, the import assets window opens. In here we have a few settings we can change and one of the settings for 3D models is the checkbox for meshes have colliders. So if I check that, click import and then hit play, 
we can see that the box now collides with our 3D mesh.